Anytime we talk about EV, we aren't obviously talking about electric motors that beat ICE cars. Essentially, we're addressing the vulnerable lithium-ion rechargeable battery. Typically, Tesla Model 3 holds a 300-mile range and a 1,000 pounds battery pack to store the equivalent energy levels. At the same time, gasoline would take only 2 gallons, approximately 12 and a half pounds, which is quite a challenge for the batteries. But do you know that there is an alternative that has nearly 9 times the energy density and range of up to 1,000 miles of lithium-ion batteries? Yes, this is quite achievable with the aluminum air battery. An aluminum air battery could go over 2,700 miles on a single charge, even though it isn't technically a battery with a battery pack weighing a similar thousand pounds. Now that sounds nice, and we thought it would be wise to discuss this amazing future technology. This is EV Comet, where we bring you the EV industry's exciting developments. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here and like our content, please subscribe and give us a thumb up. It encourages us to make more. Batteries are the key to making sustainable energy a reality. They are required for the storage of renewable energy. However, market acceptance of electric vehicles will rely heavily on batteries with greater energy density, denser capacity, and lower manufacturing costs. The popular lithium-ion battery has remained the most enticing hitherto. Overall, it is believed that they are much better for the environment than fossil fuels and are highly efficient, which is true. Still, they do have certain drawbacks for a battery as efficient as lithium-ion. Because batteries have a finite physical energy density, the amount of charge they can hold is limited. Also, scaling these batteries up to store grid electricity has proven difficult. Then, there's the issue of safety. Many of the solvents used in the production of lithium-ion batteries are flammable. As a result, they've been multiple cases of batteries combusting spontaneously in everything from cell phones to electric vehicles. Besides, lithium-ion batteries are very costly. Most of the cost comes from mining and processing lithium. Other elements, such as cobalt, nickel, and manganese, must be mined, processed, and turned into high-purity chemical compounds, but the expense is not solely financial. The where and how of collecting these rare earth elements also have environmental and sociopolitical consequences. For example, 60% of the world's cobalt is found in the DR Congo, where miners below 10 toil in dangerous tunnel environments prone to violence and exploitation. The extraction and processing of these materials also require toxic chemicals, which can have an adverse effect on local topsoil and water supplies, not to mention the health and well-being of locals. This doesn't sound clean, no matter how incredible lithium-ion batteries appear. Even so, while there are some costs to consider, the fact that lithium-ion batteries are currently the best source of clean, sustainable energy enables people to minimize many of these issues. Possibly not for long, at least for the time being. Notwithstanding, aluminum, or more especially aluminum air batteries, may provide the answer to the battery problem and the field of sustainable, clean energy. Yes, you got that right. Aluminum is the only miracle component that can assist us in developing a long-range, lightweight, cost-effective, recyclable, and ethical battery. Compared to lithium, aluminum is a far more abundant element the Earth's crust's most prevalent metal. Besides, we already have a developed sector for processing, refining, and even recycling aluminum. These facilities portend well for lowering the price of producing batteries, which will lead to less expensive electric vehicles in the future. The best part is that aluminum has one of the largest theoretical volumetric capacities of any element. It has an energy density that is comparable to that of a lithium-ion battery, claiming close to 9 times that of a lithium-ion battery, or about 8 kilowatt-hours per kg, as opposed to 1.5 kilowatt-hours, or 4 times, the energy density of lithium in a unit volume. Theoretically, all these would result in a huge improvement in the driving range of electric cars. When combined with the complete battery, which weighs around 200 pounds, 55 pounds of aluminum, for example, might go nearly 1,000 miles. Comparatively, the Nissan Leaf's 600 pounds battery pack can travel only about 100 miles. Even a Tesla Model S has a maximum range of around 390 miles at 100% efficiency, the highest range currently available. 
Aluminum air batteries aren't actually batteries to begin with. It resembles a fuel cell more now. Instead of holding a charge, they harness the natural processes when aluminum is exposed to air to produce energy. The batteries are made of plates of pure aluminum alloy as the anode, the negatively charged electrode. Next to that is a water-based electrolyte source for the cathode, typically sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, or sodium chloride. The positive electrode is purely atmospheric oxygen. Generally, a selectively permeable membrane permits oxygen to get into the cell while releasing gases like carbon dioxide that would otherwise limit the battery's performance. The oxidation reaction consumes the aluminum, producing hydroxide ions emitting electrons as a result, which is typically pure energy. Despite being around since the 1960s, aluminum batteries were rejected for use because the electrolytes at the time were toxic, caustic, and tinkersley. Nonetheless, recent studies, developers have discovered solutions to these initial issues, and the results are quite encouraging. As research advances, aluminum batteries are gaining more traction. Israeli startup energy and marketing giant launched in March 2013 tested a Citroen C1 with a 50-plate and a tiny lithium-ion battery. In this experiment, distilled water was used as the electrolyte in a 55-pound aluminum air battery so that the car's battery wasn't the only source of energy as it had a lithium-ion battery with it as well. To increase the driving range, the car was configured to operate like a hybrid and use the aluminum air battery by the end of the test. The vehicle's range was increased by nearly 600 kilometers, or about 1,000 miles, thanks to the aluminum battery. However, Finergy isn't the only company testing out aluminum air batteries. Other huge companies from India, including Maruti Suzuki and Ashok Leyland, are also in the business. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, if you want to see more about what the EV industry is putting in place to revolutionize the world, subscribe to this channel.